Hello there. Oh, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And thank you for your interest in the Drops Asia Virtual Reality Project. Virtual Reality Project? What do you mean by that? It is an initiative by the Drops Asia chapter to create a safe virtual environment where you can learn and collaborate around the subject of dropped object prevention. Does that mean I need one of those VR gadgets? Glad you asked. It certainly is the best way to experience the project, but it is not essential. We understand not everyone has such a device or is interested to get one. Let me show you how you can try it on your computer or mobile phone. Okay, and what did you mean by collaborate? The Drops Asia chapter used to organize forums around the region between two to three times a year. At these events people could meet and learn from each other in a collaborative environment. With the oil price drop, the increased awareness of environmental impact of traveling and, and now the COVID-19 crisis, such meetings are no longer feasible. The chapter has been running informative webinars since 2017 but has never really been able to recreate the same collaborative energy of face-to-face -face forums. This application is an effort to achieve that. Okay, in that case, I would be happy to give it a try. Great, the first thing you will need to do is create a login. Navigate to https colon slash slash drops vr dot org slash user dash register. Here, you will need to provide your contact details. Everything that is marked with a star is mandatory. Okay, should I provide my work or personal email? Either way is fine, but it needs to be a valid address. And what if I am unemployed, retired or a student? You could provide the name of your university, state you are retired, are looking for a job, are independent, or anything you wish. Just keep in mind it will be displayed underneath your avatar. Avatar? What is that? We'll get into that in a little bit. Finally, you'll need to agree to the privacy policy, state that you are not a robot and click submit. Great. What's next? You will receive an email confirming your account. If you don't, please check your spam or junk folder. Okay, got it. Now it is time to install the app on your computer or Mac. With the link provided in the video below. That's not going to work. I am not allowed to install anything on my computer. Most companies restrict the installation of software indeed, but you can often obtain permission by asking your IT department. The exact process differs from company to company. Keep in mind that it may take several days to obtain such permission. What if they say no? In that case, you can either try it on your personal computer or on an iPhone. Are there any minimum specs my computer needs to have? If your computer is less than 5 years old and can run the latest Windows or Mac operating system, you should be fine. What about the iPhone? And can I use my iPad? An iPad would actually be better, because you will have a larger screen. If your device can run the latest iOS operating system you will be fine. We have tested the app successfully with the iPhone 8. What about a phone with the Android operating software? We regret that this is not supported now, but we plan to add this in the future. Okay, I will keep an eye out for that. Now that we have installed the app, it is time to open it. You can find it on your computer or phone by searching for drops. After you open the app, you will see the following screen. You will need to log in with the same credentials created earlier. Got it. You will now enter the audio settings page. At this stage, or earlier, your computer or iPhone may ask you for permission to use your microphone, please answer with yes. Make sure you can hear the music and that the microphone level bar is moving as in this recording. If you are having difficulty with this, contact your system administrator. After you answer yes to both questions, you will be taken to the next screen. Why do I need a microphone? You will need it to be able to communicate with other visitors to the app. What if I do not want to? Compare the app to real life, if someone comes up to you to you to talk, you wouldn't just keep your mouth closed, and not respond, right? That makes sense, but I still do not really understand. No worries, I will give you a demonstration shortly. On the next screen, you are able to create and customize your avatar. You may select different types of hair, clothing and change colors. I can't make it look like me. The idea here is not to make it look exactly like you, but to give you the ability to look a bit different from other visitors in the app. 
When you are happy with your avatar and ready to join, click the join button. If you are getting any errors at this point, contact your system administrator or the Drops Asia secretary. Great, I am in. What do I do now? She looks kind of familiar, right? Like me, she is an animated character controlled by the application. There is no real person behind it, so it won't be rude to walk away if she is talking to you. Okay. To move around, click anywhere you'd like to go on the screen with the left mouse button. On the iPhone, just tap where you want to go. To change your viewing direction, hold the right button and move the mouse in the direction you wish to view. On the iPhone, use two fingers. To change your point of view, click the C button on your keyboard. On your iPhone, you may rotate 90 degrees to change to landscape mode. Okay, got it. It feels a bit weird to move around though. Yes, there is plenty of room to improve the user interface and we value your feedback for this. Now it is time to enter the conference room. Navigate towards the door and the animated circle. It should open a menu option like this. By clicking on it, you will be transported to a different room. What can I do in this room? In this room, we'll be facilitating presentations and panel discussions in the future. To take a seat at one of the tables click on the blue dome around it like so. You will automatically be assigned a seat. While seated, you will be able to listen to the presentation and communicate with others seated at your table. Only people at your table will be able to hear you. What if the table with my friends is already full? We can't exceed the maximum capacity per table. In that sense, it is a little less flexible than real life. Please pick another table. That's a pity, but it is quite nice we can have this conference experience from behind our computer. How do I leave the table? Just click the red arrow on top of your screen. Now, to enter the networking reception and exhibition, enter this door. What can I do here? In this room, you may visit a growing exhibition of drops related products and services and you may network with other visitors. How do I visit an exhibit? Just enter a booth like so. Can I exhibit here? Yes, please contact the Drops Asia Secretary for more details. How do I network with other people? There would have to be other people inside the app while you are. Normally this would be during or after events, but you could also schedule a meeting at your own convenience. Then, you could move close to them, and a speech bubble will automatically be created. You mentioned training earlier. How do I access that? You would need a VR headset for that, and gain access, by contacting the Drops Asia Secretary. Okay, great. Let me play around with this first and see where we take it from there. Enjoy. Please be reminded that this is a beta software and is constantly updated and improved. We greatly appreciate your feedback to make it better.